Hey everybody, this is Diana Rose. Welcome back to my channel. So Melody did a bunch of interviews yesterday and she finally talked back. Um, I know she's always been trying to keep it classy and not respond to the haters and all the BS comments, but she finally let the choppers fly yesterday, okay? Um, well, not the choppers. She she didn't let the choppers fly. She was very classy, but she did answer those questions about Tisha, Destiny, Martel, and Miss Wanda, and I was here for it, okay? So if you missed it, you can catch it here. Let's start with Miss Wanda. Just a recap. Miss Wanda got on her live on Monday because she was upset that Melody called Tisha her enemy. So she decided to get on her live and say that Melody didn't have any friends and that if you were going to be Melody's friend, you have to chase after her like a monkey with a banana. Uh, she said that Melody wanted Marceau. And then she insinuated that the reason why Martel had an affair was because Melody had one first. That's how it sounded to me. Um, and then she went on to try to be cute and make jokes about a word she couldn't even pronounce. So jokes was really on her. Um, but anyway, let's start with what Melody had to say about Miss Wanda's craziness. Um, and also she talks about being a mean girl in this video. Raquel, why are you laughing? I'm just being honest. <laughs> like for real. <laughs> Shoot. I'm just saying. Are you tired of the narrative of you being a mean girl? Child, I've been over that. How many seasons now that's been being said? Oh, so many seasons at this point. I mean, at this point, I don't care. Think whatever you want to think. You free to think, feel. I don't care. It ain't stopping no coins over here. I'm still blessed. So, obviously, God don't think I'm too mean. <laughs> huh. Huh. God don't think I'm too mean, child, because, you know, the way he been looking out for me, I'm good. Now, you just said, <laughs> hey, y'all stop with the shenanigans. <laughs> Are you doing movie auditions yet? Yes, it's so much fun, too. I be laughing at myself a lot of times. Y'all have to stop and just laugh at myself. Mm-hmm, yeah. You are not mean at all. Mm-hmm, I'm not. I'm straightforward. I'm direct. I'm not a mean person. Like, I don't walk around trying to think about ways to get somebody back or to treat somebody bad. See, to me, that's what I consider a mean person. I don't do stuff like that. I'll react to you, though. You're not going to run over me. You know. If that's mean, okay. That's fine. I don't care. Because God clearly doesn't think so. <sighs> People don't understand Scorpio energy. Mm -mm, they don't. Did you see one to post? Child, listen. I done had so many people DM me, listen, about Wanda in a post. I am not in the position to go back and forth with a double-minded, triple-minded, quadruple-minded person. I mean... We have seen her stance change up how many times now the past few seasons? One minute you in front of me talking about, Melody, you going to get a good man. You deserve to have a good man. Then you talk about my children. Now you talking about, then you talked about Martell. Call him a ho, 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 ho. And then you, you and Martell almost started fussing at Jalen and Maurice's graduation thing last season. Y'all was calling each other bees or whatever y'all was doing. Now you coming for me. I mean, who? Child. I ain't even got the capacity to try to. Child. Honey. Mm-mm. 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 Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Nope. Not here for it. Just whatever. So whatever. The only thing I really work on doing is just keeping, you know, keeping people calm. So basically, Melody is paying Miss Wanda dust. She can go kick rocks. Um, she speaks out of both sides of her mouth. And we have all seen evidence of that throughout the seasons. Um, so yeah, we're not paying her any mind. Melody also had an interview with DJ Richie Sky that was prior to her live. He asked about the breakdown between her and Destiny. He said that he thought it had something to do with um, 
you know, her needing her own space after filming. And Melody actually gave us a different side of the story than what she said on the reunion. So listen to this. So what I will say is, one, you definitely have to tune into this season because so many things pertaining to that relationship and friendship is going to be addressed. So okay. it's a lot, you know, it's several things. But what I will say is this, um, you're talking about from filming to me getting on a stage at the reunion and then, then be hearing for the first time, I don't know where me and Melody's friendship lies. That was my first time hearing that or even knowing that there was a concern. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, so that threw me. You know what I mean? Like, whoa, really? Okay, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And on top of that, it was a six-week time frame from filming to the reunion. So if in six weeks, because we're not talking every day, but you're still hearing from me, I've invited you to brunch, I've texted you, hey girl, checking on you, I, but that wasn't shared on the stage, right? Okay, you okay. You, you know, hey, want to go to brunch, how you doing, keep your head up, whatever, right? Um, but if, if that wasn't enough in the six weeks and then leads to the, I don't know where our friendship lies, Interesting. So y'all, what do y'all think about that? Because according to Melody, Destiny asking or saying she didn't know where their relationship stood came completely out of left field for her. She was not expecting it. On stage, on that reunion stage, Melody said, you know, she apologized to her that after filming, she needs time to re-energize to get her energy back. And we all kind of understood what that meant, too. I think the fans understood it. A lot of people didn't, actually. A lot of people were like, you know, that's no reason to be a bad friend, blah, blah, blah. But Melody had some time to think about it and was like, yo, I did talk to this girl. I did text her. I invited her to brunch. I didn't talk to her every single day. But we did have communication that led me to believe we were fine. So that's interesting. And I was under the impression, you know, that their friendship broke down because Destiny asked her about babysitting the kids. Now, I know a lot of people are saying she didn't say that. She did say that. We saw a scene where Martell said, you have my children at all of these different people's house. I want to have the kids. And then he went on to say that he was going to go to a judge for full custody. Right after that, Destiny says something similar, like instead of you having the kids at everybody's house, and then Melody was like, my kids don't check for you like that. And she giggled. And for me, I was like, whoa, she's kind of saying something similar to what Martell said right before threatening to take full custody. So I thought that was a little dirty and I didn't like it. But Melody did not mention that at all. And she said she thought they were cool until the reunion when Destiny said she didn't know where they stood. So DJ Richie goes on to ask her about her and Letitia's friendship. And this is what she had to say. <laughs> again, listen, let me tell you again, which I know you guys have really, really seen this friendship all the sit down since season one all of the little you know things thrown and off shade and all of that um but again last season well let me go back to the season before last right you guys saw Letitia I was at black I went to um the grand opening remember supporting because I could have said I'm not coming right <laughs> so I went to the grand opening <laughs> I do that just so you know if that ain't something I don't want to do I say I ain't doing it um, so I <laughs> went to the grand opening sincerely because if I ain't sincere about it, I'm just not going to do it. It's just not right. going to. So I went, she apologized. I accepted her apology. So for me, it was a move forward. So that's why last season you guys saw me again, sincerely moving forward, meaning, you know what? I'm going to invite you to my home because I don't invite everybody into my home. I don't let everybody come to my house. And that's just real talking. That's that's just, you know, part of my growth process that I've gone through where I'm very particular about who comes in my home. So again, if I really want checking for you, I would have been like, yeah, no, we can film this somewhere else because she ain't coming to my house. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it was like, oh yeah, come on, let her come. Let's let's talk. And she came to my house a couple of times. The taco party, one time we had a private conversation here at my home, and I was genuinely moving forward. Now, here was the kicker. At the reunion, 
on the stage, <laughs> on the stage, that is when I realized she wasn't moving forward. She was still holding mm-hmm. on to class issues. If you saw the emotion that came out in the conversation, this girl tried to destroy my marriage. Well, I just don't think Mel is a good friend. But girl, if you don't think I'm a good friend, like you're still on that after I spent the whole season trying to move forward and be cool with you and you get on the reunion stage. I haven't talked to you since we filmed. You came to my video premiere party. I could have said you're not invited. You know what I'm saying? I sponsored your company's destiny race. I was a sponsor. They ain't never sponsored nothing of mine. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So I'm genuinely trying to move forward. And then I get on the reunion stage and you say, you just don't feel like I'm a good friend. And you say, this girl tried to destroy my marriage with all of these emotions behind it. I knew in that moment that she was still in the past. And Mm. I ain't got time or I don't have time or the mental capacity to be trying to fix stuff that just ain't fixable because the person is choosing not to let it be fixed. No. Uh -uh. Destiny said something about how you said that Letitia was your enemy. Do you consider her your enemy? I definitely don't consider her a friend and I don't believe in frenemies. So I agree with everything that Melody said, everything. If you look at my old videos, I said it was Tisha who brought the smoke to the season three reunion because her and Melody were good. Even when their mamas got into it, she was like, you and I are good. We're going to stay good. We're going to work on our moms. That there was nothing going on between the two of them that season that would make her come to that show with that energy, unless her and Destiny had been talking to each other about Melody and maybe Destiny got into some her ear about some things she didn't know Melody said about her and it brought up them old wounds again. That's all I can think of. But Tisha and Destiny clearly had formed an alliance and they clearly have one now in season four. So no, we can't be friends ever. He also asked her about her friendship with Kiki, which is Tisha's favorite cousin. That's how she was introduced to the show. Um, So this is going to be interesting. I know we've heard the name Kiki in um, the live videos that Mel does on IG. So yeah, we're just kind of curious about the company Mel is keeping right now. So Melody also did an interview with Crystal XO yesterday, and she just asked her about uh, episode one saying, you know, hey, what's up with you and Destiny? She said that you guys aren't friends anymore, and she asked her for her side, and this is what she had to say. Well, what I think that we saw was two people who'd already um, beforehand had a conversation about what they were going to say and what they weren't going to say. (laughs) I think that's exactly what you guys saw. Um, because if there was nothing said to be taken out of context, there never would have been an apology after that, where you admit, yeah, I was talking about you. I ain't gonna lie, because I was in my feelings, because I felt like, you know, you had pulled away, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, That enough, honestly, that was enough (laughs) for me. But as you will see through the season, it wasn't just that. There are multiple things that caused me to set a boundary, Okay. And to draw a line in the sand. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You guys will get to see and hear more of that as this season goes on. It wasn't just that one thing. So everybody's been talking about how did Destiny and Melody even become friends? And Destiny clarified, I was friends with Martel for over 20 years. My husband and him went to preschool together. And I've only known Mel for five years. But Melody and Martel were married for 14 years. So Crystal XO asked this question, and this is what Mel had to say. So the key word I used earlier, right, was loyalty. So let me tell you about this. Um, So I was with Martel for over 14 years, Mm -hmm. and we got married in 2008. I met Destiny in maybe 2017. Oh, wow. Never heard him even talk about her. Okay. I'm just being honest. Yeah. Honestly. Um, and I met her because she and her husband and Martel were really good friends or had grown up together. Mm-hmm. So then she started coming around with him. Okay. You know what I mean? That's how I met her. Before then, if Mar- if anybody had asked me, do you know Martel's friend Destiny? I would have like, no, never mm-hmm. heard of her. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. Wasn't at our wedding, no birthday parties. No outings we were having, nothing until maybe okay. 2017. Okay. 
So I think there's a play that they're trying to manipulate the story on this like they just had this long-term friendship. But that's mm-hmm. fine. People like to play games that way. That's fine. Do I think they have something going on outside of a friendship? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't think that. Um, but what I will say is that while she knew Martel before um, before she knew me, I also knew her ex-husband before I knew her. Mm-hmm. And me being privy because we were friends to some of the things I knew he was doing to her mm-hmm. that I wasn't cool with my loyalty automatically kicked in and yeah. he got blocked. He can't, he ain't got my number. He can't call me, can't text me, can't follow me on social media, <laughs> nothing. You know, right. and she didn't have to, she didn't have to ask that of me. Mm-hmm. It became a, as a woman and right. I'm looking and I'm here with you while you're going through this and I'm seeing the pain they're put. Girl, you, I was like, oh no, block, yeah. block. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. So her knowing a lot of the things and seeing a lot of the things as well that I've gone through, I'll just mm-hmm. say everybody's lawyer being ain't set up the same. Right. That's true. And I get to choose who I want around me and who I don't. So I don't know how y'all took that, but for me, if I'm married or with someone for over 14 years and you show up and say, you've been friends with my husband for over 20 years, so longer than he's known me, and I never even heard him mention your name, never invited you to the wedding, never invited you to any family outings or birthday parties, then you are about as big of a stranger to him as you are to me, okay? So like she said, when you told her what was going on with your husband, she had some loyalty for you. She blocked everything that had to do with that person. The fact that you said your friendship was greater or stronger with a man who never mentioned your name. And then after you let her cry on your shoulder, tell you everything he did to her, your loyalty is still stronger to him. I don't know. Destiny moves funny. And then she befriended Tisha. So she moves funny. That's it. Crystal also asked Melody where her relationship stands with Martel and how co-parenting is going. Are we still in the same spot, if not worse? (laughs) Um, same spot, if not worse. And I will tell anyone that it takes two people Mm -hmm. who sincerely, and by sincerely, I mean, not just putting on for the camera, but who sincerely want to move forward, who sincerely, I wish all day, every day that we could co-parent better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys saw us at a co-parenting session. You saw me offer support. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There are certain things that I've done, you know, oh, you want to take the kids somewhere, but you can't afford to do it right now. Here, I'll cash up you. Y'all go have fun. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's how I've moved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it ain't me is all I'm going to (laughs) say. So guys, I know a lot of people have been in my comments, so I can only imagine, you know, what else is being said. But everybody wants to make Martel out to be like this multimillionaire. His net worth is, I think, $20 million or something that I read. That's not true. If your baby mama is cash apping you money so that you can do things with the kids. And he even said that he didn't have it on season three. He was like, there was times I didn't have it. And it looks like he recently came on some harder times. So um, the fact that he can't show an ounce of respect to Melody is really disturbing on every level, on every level. Um, And he can't be trusted right now. Like I said before in my previous video, he is in a losing season. And until he figures out how to do right, okay, just like the color purple, figure out how to do right by people. Figure out how to do right by your ex-wife who has held those kids down and you down with the kids so that they can look up to you. Until you figure that out, you will always be on hard times. That's just how life delivers, okay? But in the end, she basically, um, Crystal XO asked her if she thought he was a good father. And she was like, you know, in the beginning when we were together, you know, I did say he was a good father. But there's been things that I have saw in the aftermath of all of this, um, of the divorce, where she can't you know, continue to say that. And she also said that something major happened. 
with Martell and the kids while they were filming season four and she refused to let it be on camera. They had asked her. She said no. She didn't want her kids to, you know, be put out there like that. And she hasn't talked about it. Even though Martell had made those four ugly posts where he did a post and delete, um, but she said the kids come first for her. So um, this is interesting and I hate that it's happening like this. Um, I do hope that the kids are okay. Um, but you guys let me know what y'all think. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all on the next one.